Raining Grace Ranch, and we are giving you, actually I'm giving you a personal tour of the Raining Grace Ranch Dusty Bottoms Tack Room. Well, actually, a lot of people, even our volunteers, don't realize that this tack room is called the Dusty Bottoms, but you know what? You do now. So when I talk about Dusty Bottoms, you know what we're talking about. I have created and collected a bunch of fun signs over the years, um, and it's they're kind of, they're they're, they're signs of encouragement and, and stuff. And some of them have faded and I need to replace them. But some of my favorite, favorite ones out here is, is nobody is taller than the last man standing. And one of my personal favorites, princess parking only, all others will be towed. Get it? Towed. And let's see what other ones are, that, what are other ones are here? Like, um, this is a big one we talk about at the ranch. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Begin doing. So lots of fun stuff up here. If you dream it, you can do it. We've got the ten, the Cowboy Ten Commandments, which is great. Howdy, y'all. Anyway, um, today I'm going to show you a couple of really cool things. So at Rainy Grace Ranch, this is Dusty Bottoms, and this is where the kids bring their horses up for mentor sessions. And over the last, gosh, over... Do you know that Raining Grace Ranch is over a decade old? It's crazy to think that. I think we're 12 or 13 years old this year. But um, over the over the last couple of years, we've had some incidents with tying at the hitching rail. And so we have um, started using these because they're best for us. And um, these are these, these are like actually they're Highline camping, camping clips. This is how these work. And when the kids come up and tie their horses up, these, these lead ropes loop like this. They go through here, they cross over like so, and then they stand here and the horses stand tied. And if in the event that a horse panics, they can actually pull themselves, give themselves some slack and they'll keep backing and pull themselves eventually out of this instead of falling down and getting caught up. So these have been a life saving, literally, uh, life saving for the ranch and all of our hitching rails that are undercover have got all of these kind of clips. So kids always know how to use these. So come on up, we're gonna go through the tack room. So now I am standing at the, the steps of the sacred tack room. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to show you some inside stuff that I don't know if anybody else knows about. But anyway, as you come up to the steps, we have trash cans on our porch. And these are probably the most sacred things of all because they are filled, filled with baked goods. Actually, these are cookies for the horses. So the kids all know when they're done with sessions, their horses get treats and they are in the trash cans on our porch of the tack room. The other thing is the, it, when we come up to this tack room, we also have more, more things, more signs, etc. You know, manure occurreth because manure occurreth, you know, like, stuff happens you can fill in the blanks on that one um attitudes are contagious is yours worth catching um but as we come into this space this is where we also hang some notices of what's happening at the ranch and i don't know if you see this but we have a mustache bandit around the ranch that's right this is baba and our gypsy vanners baba and Bo, grow these magnificent mustaches because they're gypsy vanners and that's just what they do and somebody cut it off so we are looking for the man who stole man or woman who stole baba's mustache he is wanted it he or she is wanted at large so we're looking for that person mustaches are really important for these guys because they're kind of they act like they're curb feelers and they're attached to all kinds of nerves that send the horse information so we don't love it when we trim their their whiskers or their mustaches so we're looking for that person so come on into the tack room all right gang so in the tack room we try to keep everything very well organized because as you can imagine when we have kids and mentors running through here it can get a little crazy so we try to have organized chaos as much as possible when you walk in when you first walk in here's all of our saddle pads um, and the kids know generally they have a, everybody has a favorite pad that they use so some of these pads get used over and over and over again and some of them never get used at all um, I will say that most of our saddle pads have been donated by generous um, generous folks that have either tack that they don't use anymore or or sometimes they will drop tack off 
uh, that they just bought. So it's we're, we're incredibly blessed that way. So these are our saddle blankets. And then as you step in, you, you will see that we've got all of our helmets. They're organized by size. Um, and so the kids know which size helmet they typically wear. They come in, they grab their fancy helmet. We have them in all kinds of different colors for boys and girls. And um, they come in and they grab their helmet. They, they work with them. And then when they're done with their helmet, we have our handy dandy Lysol. <laughs> the kids spray their, their helmets out with Lysol because that, that kills any kind of bacteria that might be in the helmet after the child wore it. So it's safe for the next child to wear. Um, and as you come in, we, this our tack room really is, is a Weather King shed that we've kind of converted into this. And this building, believe it or not, was my office at one point. It was a community center area, believe it or not. And now it's turned into our TAC room. And we actually have two of these buildings that are for TAC. Um, and eventually we'll have a third one as soon as the healing barn is completed. But when you come in here, now these are all the bridles. So these are all the bridles that Misty has assigned to horses. If you'll notice, um, some of them share bridles and some of them have their own. And every bridle is hung on a hook that says the horse's name. So when our vaqueros or our kids come in, they know where to grab the their their halter or their bridle. So this is a bridle, y'all. This is a fitless bridle. But I can talk to you a little bit about this. This is a this is a bridle, different from a halter. A halter is what you use to catch the horse out in the paddocks, which is their corral that they're in. And then these are bridles that we actually ride in. This is a this is a, a snapple bit. There's all kinds of flavors of snapple bits. For the most part at Rain and Grace Ranch, we ride in either bitless bridles, which is nothing in their mouth at all, or snapple bits, and a variation of roller snapples or dog bone snapples. There's all kinds of different ones, which we could probably go over on another day if you are interested. So that's this area. These are extra bits that we have. Um, we have crops in here. These are, these are encouraging sticks. Sometimes we have horses that don't want to go. And so they know if you got a crop in your hand, all of a sudden you mean business. We don't ever hit the horses with them, but for whatever reason, it's an encouragement tool. They just know that when you're holding it, they're like, oh, she means business. So here's our first aid kit. That's always important. We have a little trash can in here. We have, um, this is a ladder. There's a couple ladders. This ladder is here so that our, our little ones can climb up and grab their, their bridles. So one of the cool things about our program at Rain and Grace Ranch is from the time that the kids get here, they actually go, they come, they go to our halter shed, they get their halter lead rope, they go out to the horses, they bring the horse up, they get them tied up at the hitching rail, they get them groomed, the grooming buckets are outside, they were hanging up on the outside, and then once that's done, they come in and they do everything. So this is not a concierge service where the kids show up and the horse is saddled and ready to go. Our kids learn how to go catch them, groom them, saddle them, the whole thing because that's part of the relationship and it's part of the work honestly horses are a lot of work people ask me all the time if i ride every single day i probably ride four times a month maybe i wish i could do more but i just don't have time because i'm too busy taking care of them so that's just the way it works these are all the extra reins that we have and as you might notice we've got so these kind of reins here are really great for our beginning riders because i can we can say Hands on green, hands on yellow, hands on red. So it gives a good visual for our visual learners of where their hands need to be on the reins when we're teaching. So that's what these guys are. And then you will notice all of our saddles. Our saddles are all um, categorized by seat size. So believe it or not, not all saddles are created equal. They're like, I will show you this little guy right here. This is probably a third, this is a 13 inch saddle. And when, you, when you're talking about saddles, when you're talking about saddles, they measure from here to here to tell you what the seat size is. And so is it a little butt, is it a big butt, what is it? So this guy is one of our little saddles, but then all of these trees can sometimes, they can sometimes, the tree of a saddle is actually the, the actual frame of the saddle. And so a lot of times they're made out of fiberglass, sometimes they're made out of wood and leather. So sometimes they're plastic. Some of your lighter saddles are plastic trees. And so one of the things when we get a donated saddle that we're always looking for is whether or not the tree is broken. Because if the tree is broken, it can do damage to a horse's back. So we will not use those. We will actually use those saddles for art projects. So that's what we do with those. Nothing goes 
unused around here. Um, but all, again, all of our kids know which saddles they use. All the saddles are numbered based on their seat size and they come in and they grab their different, their different saddle. Um, these are all of our girths or cinches. Um, and every horse is different. So these are kind of like belts, right? They keep the belt on the horse. They keep the saddle on the horse. So it's kind of like their belt. And depending on the size of the horse is, depends on how big of a belt or girth or cinch that they need. And so sometimes if we have a saddle that's popular, which we do have popular saddles uh, among the kids, and oftentimes if a saddle fits a horse, it may fit them on their back this way, but not always on the girth. So we have to change out girths from time to time. So that's what these guys are. And then coming up back this way, we have all of the, our storage up at the top. So up in the top, we've got winter blankets and fly sheets and all kinds of different things like that, that, that we utilize for the horses. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Dusty Bottom's Tack Room. Stay tuned for another tour of someplace else at Raining Grace Ranch.